Oh, wow, it's another Krusty episode. We already had Krusty Gets Busted in Season 1. And for a character so separated from the Simpson family's day-to-day -day life, I'm a little surprised they did a second Spotlight episode on him so soon. Hi, I'm Torin, and welcome to Torin Loves the Simpsons. Today we're looking at Season 3, Episode 6, Like Father, Like Clown. An episode where Krusty joins the Simpson family for dinner, where repressed memories of his estranged father get agitated, and the serious spiral this causes for Krusty motivates Bart and Lisa to find Krusty's father and convince him to reconcile. Let's dive on in. Let's start with the humor, and this episode has a few really funny moments, but otherwise stays pretty focused on the plot. I love the way Corporal Punishment holds Mel up in his concussed state and makes him dance, and Rabbi Krastovsky's insistence that the request for advice about buying a Chrysler be framed as an ethical question is hilarious. And the exchange between Bart and Lisa about learning ancient Hebrew is an absolute delight. But this isn't a humor-driven episode, and there are a lot of stretches with few to no laughs. That's okay, I think the humor accomplishes what it needs to well enough, and I'll give it an A-. As for the plot, this episode is pretty directly a continuation of Krusty Gets Busted, and that's a rare thing for two episodes' plots to be significantly related to each other in any way, so that's an interesting change of pace. We even get a quick callback to Krusty's illiteracy established in that episode. That's pretty neat. There is a pretty glaring problem with the plot, though. The way Bart and Lisa finally convince Rabbi Krastovsky makes no fucking sense at all. The quote is clearly a third-person description, a statement by someone who was not a Jew describing the history of the Jewish people from the outside. Yet for some reason, Rabbi Krastovsky thinks it was a quote by a prominent Jewish religious leader or philosopher. I just really don't buy that that quote would win over the rabbi. And that's the crux point of the episode. It's one of the most critical moments where the plot could fall apart, and it really falls apart in my opinion. We get a decent recovery with a very touching reconciliation, but even that just leaves me feeling conflicted. If I could buy into the storyline more at that one critical moment, this could have been an amazing storyline. But sometimes that one problem can do a lot of damage, as we've maybe seen recently. This example isn't nearly as bad, but it's kinda bad. I do still need to give credit to the powerful depiction of Krusty's loneliness. That sequence after he leaves the Simpson house is just dismal. He's rich and famous, but he can't buy the one thing he really wants, and it consumes him. Damn. It sure is a shame that that gets overshadowed by a weak hinge between the conflict and reconciliation, because this sequence captures a kind of mood and atmosphere that I don't think any other episode ever really accomplishes. I'm really conflicted on what to rate this plot, but I think the strengths of the episode are good enough to pull things up to an A-. And now, for the final rating. Obvious A- all around, no need to waste your time. Again, this one is such a shame because it so easily could have been an S-tier episode, but one serious flaw screwed everything up for all of us. Thanks for watching. Do you agree that that flaw was that bad? Do you think it's even a flaw at all? Hit up the comments with your thoughts, and if you enjoyed my video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Up next we have Treehouse of Horror 2, so I will see you in that video.